All right, guys, got a pretty cool little surprise for you. Check this out. Volvo has sent us a brand new EC200EL demo. Let's check this thing out. Before we get too far started here, can I give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's going on? Like I said, this is a Volvo demo machine. The fine folks at Volvo, which have been awesome to work with over the last couple years, they basically gave me the option of three different machines to demo. Uh, the first one was a 130, which is a wheeled excavator about the 120 size. Uh, the second option was this, the 200, and the third option was uh, possibly the 550. And with all the mud this time of year, I was kind of thinking maybe the 130 was not the best option. The 550 would have been awesome to have, but we uh, we move so much, we're so nimble. And that machine's very difficult to move. I was a little worried, but you kind of get stuck with it on a job somewhere, especially again this time of year being the the mud season. So the most logical choice for what we're doing was the 200. And uh, pretty excited about this to be honest with you guys, because if we're going to buy another excavator, it is most likely going to be uh, again in this 200 range. So. This is a heck of an opportunity to get this thing out on a few jobs, kind of see how it performs and uh, see what our what our thoughts are on it for sure. Obviously, uh, going to get a lot of comments and questions about this getting compared to the 210 we currently own. And I'm sure it's also going to get compared to the Volvo 220 that Chris owns. Again, these are uh, all very similar machines in the same class. But with that being said, there is still some differences between them, so we definitely got to keep that in mind as we uh, get moving forward. This particular machine here, the way it's dressed out, which I believe is a long stick machine with a coupler. It does not have a thumb on it. It currently has a 36-inch Volvo general purpose digging bucket. It's going to weigh in right at 50 thousand pounds this machine we'll get up there and look at it in a minute does have the four cylinder i think it's the d4j uh four cylinder engine in it. it's right at 154 horse uh like i said it's right there in that range as everything else we'll take a quick little peek here in the uh panels on this thing again volvo does a pretty good job of keeping everything fairly clean and tidy this is your pump side obviously your main pump here all your filters are easily accessible and uh, serviceable right right there nothing major got the nice heavy door hinges door locks swing around over here onto the other side nothing too exciting behind this door pretty much just all the coolers but everything is easy to get to easy to clean got the extra screen on there windshield washer fluid a little bit more activity going on in here main disconnect pattern changer batteries all your fuses and all your computers are also mounted right here where they're easy to get to of course on these bigger machines you get a little more room so everything's a little more open but everything's pretty nicely routed pretty easy to keep clean and keep main uh maintain like i said with the pattern changer right there this particular machine is still the pilot controlled machine uh some of the newer models are coming out with currently are electric over hydraulic, which gives you a lot more options of stuff you can do in the uh, monitor as far as like the CDC, the comfort drive control on the joystick with the one we demoed up in Shippingsburg. But like I said, this is actually a new machine. I think it's got less than 20 hours on it. They come off their demo yard up in uh, Pennsylvania. So pretty fortunate we get to break in a whole new other excavator kind of getting spoiled doing this so climb up here in the cab real quick pretty uh pretty familiar volvo cab display i mean the visibility in these things has always been good super comfortable this time of year definitely looking forward to the uh heated seat for sure top secret top secret code here but yeah Got the all-view camera, purrs like a kid. I like it. All right, guys, a couple things worth pointing out real quick. From the factory, this thing's got all LED lights on it and this time of year. That is a big deal, and I'll have to say that's a little bit of an improvement over what we are used to. But we'll hop up here on top real quick. First thing, the signature Volvo orange handrails. Man, these things are just not for looks. They are built 
stout for sure and they just give it a give it a good look give it some nice contrast got us a toolbox right here fairly sizable can definitely get a five gallon bucket of whatever you choose in there and it's uh pretty much dedicated to uh tool area which is nice you got your ad blue def right there easy and accessible to get to like i said nice handrail steps grip plates all that stuff is good and uh right here we kind of have the whole heart and soul of the operation see if we can get her lifted up here like i said this is the d4j engine this is the exact same engine we had in the uh 140 i don't know the exact specs i think in the 140 it was about 120 horse and this one here is pushing 154 horse it does have a little bit of a different tune on it it'll be curious to see how that affects the um, fuel economy on it we'll kind of know know what the old 140 did we'll see what the uh new 200 does as far as uh, fuel consumption goes but good smooth running little engine for sure and then you got all the emission stuff tucked away over there so but i'm curious to get this thing in the dirt and uh see what it's gonna do we're gonna track on over the hill here we're actually going to uh, see if we can bust up some rock for our boat dock project so let's do it all right before we get started we're going to switch out buckets real quick we got our 42 inch bucket off of the 210 watch out coming in hot we're going to switch that out i think for what we're doing that bucket's going to work a little bit better and we're going to be messing with a lot of the rock i don't want to tear up tear up their new bucket so let's see if we can remember how to switch out buckets on this beauty all right, see if we remember how to do this on the old Volvo machine. We got a button over here somewhere. Got a button over here somewhere. Slidey, slidey action. We'll put this right out in the middle of the parking lot so somebody will come in and hit it later. Got to take a little getting used to not having a thumb. Look at that. We got us a new bucket. You know, I still think it's pretty good for the truck driver who can't see the bucket can dump it out and make it land on its bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what you didn't see is it rolled three times. Shh, what I tell everybody? All right, we'll set this bucket down over here out of the way for now. We may come back and get it, but if we do, we got the loader to reload it. So that is not a huge issue. And we are working fairly close to the shop here this morning. Let me get turned. I'll show you a little bit more whenever we get tracked over there. We're basically going up and over the hill to the back side there to an old rock pile. See if we can bust up some of that rock and uh, get it loaded up on Bubba Dump so we can take it over to the river for our boat dock project. So, all right, we're off.
This is actually a lake we built about, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago. Way before I was ever doing YouTube. Still looks good. This pile of rock over here. What we're gonna try to scavenge out of. Let's see what we got. Mr. Melinda, we have arrived at our final destination. Rock pile, rock pile. So this pile of rocks, we have scavenged out of here a few times before over the years. This is the same stuff we use to build a lot of retaining walls like in front of the market in different places. I've heard different stories where these are here. The most likely story I think why they're here is these rocks were too big to fit through the crusher. Whenever this used to be a rock quarry, they used to pile them up here and then come through and break them up and fill it to the crusher later. And these never made it before they closed down. I've also heard that these rocks are not quite as good a quality and they got kicked aside for quality control purposes. But either way, they are going to work just fine for what we're going to use them for. How do you do quality control on a rock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have to ask Fred Flintstone, I guess. Apparently. <laughs> but the goal is we're going to try to get some of this stuff loaded up on Bubba Dump. Basically haul it right across the road. You guys can see the community center. Right there, the guy that owns this property is donating this rock for that project over there, trying to save us a little bit of money for the community. And uh, then once we get it over there, we'll probably track this across the road and place it. So I guess we need to go get Bubba. Sounds good. Oh, Matt's brakes are working. It's a pretty steep little hill coming in here. Hold a mini of loads up it over the years. A little hill steeper than what it looks, isn't it? That is, the only thing I can see the whole time is water. I guess uh, swing around and back up on the uh, right side of the machine here and we'll see if we can get a load of it. Poor old Bubba needs a bath. I'd say that looks pretty good. Straighten her up right there. Straight on by. Let's try that. All right, let's see what the old 200's got here. First, I guess you call it a scoop. That looks like a pretty good size rock to me. What normally happens these things, if you can get them lifted up, you can drop them, they break. Well, that one didn't break, but the one underneath it did. And once we get a broke, load her up. Well, that's going to be some good stuff for what we need it for. I need to do since I don't have a thumb. Find me a big rock as a backstop. We'll figure this out before it's over with. <laughs> Got it! But what's worse, dropping those rocks in there with the stumps on the left? Yeah. Take their ball fast. Take the stumps, don't injure the bed. Rocks should have a chance to put down to the bed. Look at that. That's another one. It's like rock fishing. Hang on there, baby. Oh! Easy to see 8500, you want to talk about rough on the bed. 
There's a big flat rock over here on this corner. Oh boy. <laughs> I got it. Poor Bubba Dump. I think it needs one more drop. Oh. <laughs> it broke the bottom one, not the top one. Pretty tough rock. I'm watching the game we played in Nashville in real life. <laughs> I don't know. Now the score's bad. <laughs> Bubba says it's full. Yep, Bubba is full. All right, old Matt's rolling out. See how uh, old Bubba Dump does hill climb this morning. I don't know what it is about this little section of section of road right here, but it is uh, it is steep. It's a little bit slimy. I think old Bubba's got it under control though.
tons of rock do you think have been hauled down this road over the years? I would hate to guess. This this road we're on right now is the main haul road. Remember, Malta's owned this quarry, and all the road, all the rock that got loaded on barges got to hold down this. It's millions and millions of tons of rock have come down this road. We're uh, I think we're, the road used to be a little wider. We're adding another thirty ton to the to the list here today. Yeah. The gate over there. <laughs> the gate didn't. The gate didn't used to be there. short haul excavator is actually sitting right there we're looping down through the lot and uh, Matt's gonna whip her down here in the park you guys will see down here we've already got about 10 loads hauled in those 10 loads are actually donated from the uh, quarry it's pretty much the same rock it's what they call uh, shot rock it's just a little cleaner because it was freshly shot this stuff here was shot I don't know 60 70 years ago Like I said, that used to be the quarry over there. This was the barge loading facility where they hauled all the, loaded all the rock out on the uh, barges. So there's been a lot of rock hauled down here over the years. Can you back up between this telephone pole and the pile? Come again? Back up between this telephone pole and the pile and loop around here on the back side. Come straight on back. You know those new Volvo trucks have those fancy uh, backup cameras on them. Turn towards the highway a little bit. Now start cutting her hard. Bring her on hard. There you go. Come on back. I'm going to bring you all the way over here by these other piles. You might as well come on across the road over the yard to pick out that truck. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Straighten her up. Bring her on back. How froggy are you feeling? You want to back over the hill towards the riverbank? I'm good with that. If that's where you want it, we can put it right down there on the way there. Not... Yeah, just uh, come on back and uh, get her straightened up before you head over the hill, and I think it'll be fine. Come on back. This will save us some shuffling tomorrow. All right, start cutting hard. Cutting hard. There we go. Looking good. I'm going to watch it for sharp rocks here, but I think it's going to be fine. Come on back. Come on back. Looking good, looking good. Looking good. Yep, you're looking good. I got one rock here. I'm going to watch straighten up this a little bit. There you go, bring her on back. Bring her on back, come on down. Come on down. That's going to save us some work. Come on back a little farther. Come on back. Well, that's it. Well, Eventually we'll bring the uh, 200 over here, kind of help place all that, but we're going back for another load. That went pretty well. All right, back over to get loaded. I'm going to go in here. I believe it's in vehicle information. Oh, it's right there. Fuel, fuel economy right now is showing 2.3 gallons per hour. What I want to do is reset that to zero. 
like I said, this machine's been on a demo a little bit. As we run it, I want to kind of get an accurate reading of what we're getting uh, per hour. So that should that should get us reset. So if you guys watch Matt's channel, he actually ran actually ran this machine a little bit up in Shippingsburg. I did not. My first time on it was here on the lot. And kind of my first impressions on it. I first hopped on it, tracked over here. I thought, well, this is uh, this is nice. Kind of feels familiar. Didn't really feel anything super special, but I have to admit, after loading that first round of trucks out, it is uh, obviously considerably faster. I shouldn't say considerably, but it is definitely faster definitely faster than what I'm used to which I kind of expected it's hard to tell power wise doing what we're doing we'll have to run a little more to figure that out but compared to my 140 I had this thing is so much smoother holy cow is it it's what I call Todd better this thing is really sweet got a good balance of speed and finesse. There's still some settings in the monitor I can play with a little bit. I haven't quite got it tuned in yet, but the one function, the one function I noticed for sure for some reason it's just light years smoother is the swing. This thing has got a very, very, very smooth swing to it. I'm looking forward to running this thing over the next month, getting in some different situations and kind of see see how it does. But so far, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. are wondering where this machine was dropped off to me. I've had 30 hours on it. I had to guess this is probably the first day of hard work this machine's done. And we'll let you ride that size. I think it'll be alright. Hang on, Bubba Dub. We got a big one coming in. Easy. That yeah, wasn't bad. Alright, let me finish getting Matt loaded and we'll take another load over. Load number two, heading out. regret this decision i'm gonna show you guys how much i like you and i'm gonna risk getting wet standing out here letting matt back down they're looking good keep her keep, keep her coming straight on back right there if you get me wet you don't get paid this week if you get me wet you don't get paid this week good with that if i get you that wet let her fly right there we go. You're not getting paid this week. And suck me, but he got me pretty good. I think what we're gonna try to do on the next load, I don't know if you guys can see that orange dot right there. There's an orange dot down there. This is where the river is really deep and those panels aren't drove in there as far as what we'd like them. What I'd like to do is, is get a load of bigger rocks, we'll dump right in front of these piles, and then hopefully I can go out there and set them on the outside of the wall of the excavator before we backfill on this side. Kind of give it a little bit of extra strength. So let's go see if we can fish some big ones on there. Well, 
I said the next load needed to be some big ones. That's a big one. I found us a big one. <laughs> big the old 200 will get on up there? I don't know. We're getting ready to find out though, aren't we? Yeah, the true question's going to be, will Bubba Dump still be upright once I set her down in there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I ain't worried about Bubba at all. How many of them you want to put on there? Six? <laughs> Let's go one at a time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see if she can do it. It's over the bed. That's 50% of the battle. Now he's got to try to get in there without dumping it back out of the bed. Nice. Good job, good job. Big daughter, but that's about all I'm <laughs> Alright, I have to admit, loading these rocks without a thumb has not been as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually kind of a fun little uh fun little unique challenge trying to get them wrestled up in the bucket. That last one definitely took the cake on the big one. Kind of got set up where he got something to push against. Not too bad to get on the bucket. Just like that right there. Check that out. You got it. Be extra careful with so that they don't roll off that air at you. go fishing for a few more big ones to finish off this load let me do that we'll take these over and get them done all right got quite the load on old bubba with the bigger rocks those should work really well for uh, filling in that deeper area and helping us shore up that wall so let's take them over and get them done kind of the plan we got these few loads dumped here so hopefully tomorrow we can walk the 200 over here and kind of uh get us a little bit of a pad set up i'm gonna have matt dump these bigger rocks right here off the end hopefully we can sit on this little pad we got reach over and grab those bigger rocks set them on the outside of the wall and kind of secure the bank up a little bit so all right bring her on back Go down river just to shade. Looking good, looking good. Down river some if you can. Good thing you got brakes on that thing, everybody. That'll work, let her fly. Let's get 
gonna be a wrap on today. Like I said, hopefully tomorrow we'll get the 200 walked over here, start getting some of this worked in and uh, see what we got. Eventually we'll use some of that, uh, like I said, that's basically the same rock up there. It's just newer, it looks a little better. We'll use it to kind of top off the uh, upper part of it, but uh, all in all, good progress. First impressions, 200, pretty impressed. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, running it over the next month and seeing what we can get done with it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give her a big old thumbs up. Well, you make sure you don't miss out on the rest of the adventures. I consider subscribing. I will be catch you on the next one. Later. So here's kind of the plan. We got these few loads dumped here. I'm hoping tomorrow we bring the 210 over here. We gotta start over. I just call it the 210. How many times do you think that's going to happen?